Good morning. I'm on my way to a company picnic. Starts at noon. All right, we're here. We're early. We got all these bouncy houses with generators. The rock climbing wall here. Right here. Look here. That's where I'm at. And, you know, I did a sound check with these Evolve 30Ms and we are doing just fine competing with those generators. It was incredibly hot outside, like in the 90s, very poor air quality, incredibly humid. And, you know, when it was all said and done, somebody came up to me from the event and said, hey, you know, why didn't you play any line dance kind of songs to get people moving around? I did, but the turnout wasn't that big. And I think the parents were just kind of tolerating the heat so the kids can go in the bouncy houses. Otherwise, they were under tents eating in the shade. We were doing a raffle now, but this is why you need a tent for an outdoor event. We should be kicking in the raffle again soon, but yeah, we're almost done, but we got this, which is fun. Well, it was on the edge. If someone lost their glasses. I have them. I grabbed it. They're blue. Wet, but I think we'll be all right. I grabbed it as quick as I could. I think everything else is okay. It was just too close to the edge. It was raining a lot, and there were people there, so yeah. Freaking rain. Okay. All right, so I gotta tear the rest of this down, put it in the truck. There's 10 over, but that's fine. I just gotta collapse this stool and I can finish loading out. Just got loaded out. Fun. It's been like this since I've been on the road, about 15 minutes. My sister in Arizona says, drive fast. You don't need wipers. Wipers look terrible on cars. Anything that could go wrong at an outdoor event kind of went wrong. The temperatures were sweltering for Wisconsin. I know those of you in Texas and Florida and Nevada and the equator are looking at me like, hey, we tolerate temperatures of 275 degrees and we have 500% humidity and we're not complaining. Well, that's you. Consider that we tolerate temperatures in the sub-zeros here, and we don't really complain about that. You guys have no concept of that. We do. So we're a little more thick-blooded up here. It was very hot. Poor air quality in the whole bit. And that put a damper on activities. People didn't really want to dance. Especially in direct sunlight. I mean, I was under a tent, but there wasn't like a dance area under a tent. There was seating where there were tents, and that's where people were, and it was nowhere near where I was playing music and of course the rain and you know no matter how much you prepare for this stuff no matter how hard you try okay we have a tent you know we have the coverage we feel like that we need we're well under the tent with our equipment it can still be problems you can still have problems and I did but yeah you know I am so done with outdoor gigs I don't think I have any more until, I don't know, maybe next year. I don't think there's anything on the books that's outdoors coming up. I got one in October, actually. I have a ceremony, but that one's going to be a little different, and it's out of state, and stay tuned for that. But, yeah, coming up in the next couple of weeks, I don't think I have anything that I have to worry about. And this heat's going to go away. It's going to start being a lot cooler outside, but you still can't predict rain. Yeah, I could have had hefty bags on me to put over the speakers. I could have had a tarp. I could have done a lot of things. There could have been sides on that tent, which would have been actually perfect. But I didn't. <laughs> I just didn't. And how much can you really reasonably do at every event? People talk about being prepared. Now, if you had everything that would prepare you for any situation on you at all times, 
you'd probably have to have a much bigger vehicle just to carry this stuff around. I'm glad these outdoor events are over. So many problems, so many different weird things can happen. And, you know, if it could go wrong, it went wrong at this one. I mean, we didn't have a tornado or anything, but we had the stupid hot and we had the crazy rain. I don't know. What else could you have? You know, alien invasions? That's it. That's my gig log. Thanks for watching. I have the next week off, and I'm very happy about that. So, who knows what kind of videos we'll do in the next week. I've got some personal stuff I want to take care of, but we'll do some other videos. Stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Practice and enjoy.